It's called the Pawashik skipperling, a small butterfly no bigger than a nickel. It was once a staple on the prairies, but the species is vanishing. And saving this little critter is now an international concern. As Tamara Ferlansky reports, the butterfly plays a big ecological role and its disappearance could have widespread consequences. It's a shrinking part of Manitoba's landscape. Tallgrass Prairie is disappearing at an alarming rate. In North America, there's only about 1% left. While it might look like just another field, it's a precious ecosystem so many creatures call home. And the Pawashik skipperlings are adorable. They're just super cute. But beyond that, this is another pollinator, and we all need to be worried about the loss of another pollinator. But the little-known butterfly is endangered. 200 of them were in Manitoba two years ago. Now there are less than 50. We're kind of at a crossroads with a number of species like this where we really have to recognize that if we kind of keep going down the same road we are, we're going to lose those species. Some people might think this butterfly is just another bug, and if it disappears, it won't be a big deal. But if it does, it could mean there's an even bigger problem on the way. And it's like a canary in the coal mine. It's kind of like an early warning that we're kind of tampering with something and that if we keep on going down the road we are, we'll eventually lose a lot of species, which could threaten our actual survival over time. Extinction of a species is like getting rid of one of the building blocks of the environment. So researchers from Michigan and Minnesota are in Manitoba to find out what's happening to the power chic skipperling. In my state, in Minnesota, there hasn't been one seen since 2007. These little green specks collected here could change that. The female that these came from laid 11 eggs. And soon they'll be a part of a breeding program at the Minnesota Zoo. Right now, this is ideally just to be an insurance population in case their de populations decline more so. Work is also being done to preserve what's left of the tall grass prairie. So we're looking at the effects of actually burning some of these sites on an intermittent basis to keep them in their prairie form, bringing cattle in to perhaps graze them. And hopefully save some of nature's littlest creatures. Tamara Forlansky, Global News, Gardenton, Manitoba.